Russia's foreign minister says that Moscow is ready for talks to end fighting, but won't stop targeting Ukraine's military infrastructure. For the last 48 hours, Russian missiles have rocked Ukraine. Ukrainian officials are saying more than 2,000 civilians have been killed as Russia steps up its assault on key cities. Russia targeting city after city as it steps up its assault on Ukraine, killing civilians and leaving residents fleeing. They have moved my city, destroyed many, many houses. The Biden administration now launching a Justice Department task force to enforce sanctions against wealthy Russian oligarchs close to President Vladimir Putin. We will freeze and seize their yachts, their private jets, their opulent estates in world capitals. And laying out a slew of new sanctions against Russia's defense sector. President Biden in Wisconsin on Wednesday condemning Putin. He's rejected repeated efforts at diplomacy. Russia's economy has already suffered a serious blow, yet the Kremlin insists tough sanctions will not deter their military actions. There's a lot of combat power uh, that the Russians still have available to them. The U.S. arming Ukraine with weapons capable of taking out Russian aircraft, but stressing American troops will not be fighting in Ukraine and taking the option of a no-fly zone over the country off the table. In order to enforce that no-fly zone, uh, you'll have to engage uh, Russian aircraft. And again, that would put us... Uh, uh, at war with Russia. Russian and Ukrainian officials say that they're ready for a second round of peace talks. Still, U.S. defense leaders warn of difficult days ahead. And the U.N. estimates more than one million people have left Ukraine, one million already for neighboring countries to flee to safety. Just in the past week, the agency predicts up to four million could leave.